Um, no one's breathing down our neck. What Tony did was great. He just came in the core in in the studio and said, "Carry on doing what you're doing because what you're doing is great." It was an interesting period, but mainly on the whole, compared to um, movement, it was joyous. It felt like we'd become new order. Really, we, we, it felt like we'd done something ourselves that had like a bit of an identity. We did really gel and we'd found a really good engineer that we'd worked with and he sort of took over the producing and engineering because he was really good at both and he sort of helped us along. So we were like forming our own little gang with him. The Joy Division fans hated it. They really hated it and that's like how I knew that we were onto a winner really. <laughs> this is the right thing because those people don't like us anymore. But other people do, other people do. And it was like going from black and white to colour. And I think that the feeling was amongst us, I'd like to think, was that we'd found our path, we'd found a way to do it. And, you know, we were writing great songs. And With Power Crushing Lies, maybe we got to the point where we were enjoying it a little bit too much. Um, I can, I, can, I can only speak for myself that um, took a fair bit of acid doing Power Corruption and Lies. Um, it got a bit out of hand, yeah, I think that one. No, it didn't really, because it's a pretty good album, isn't it, at the end of the day, and that's all that, 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 that matters. But we were uh, seeing the studio more of a fun place where we, in addition to having fun, we made music. Place of fun, place of interest as well you know to try these new synthesizers and new recording techniques and get pretty well popped up as well at the same time and we wrote together we wrote the vocals together we worked on it really well and it is if i say so myself a fantastic record it really is wonderful mm -hmm.